Today I'm going to be talking with a 47 year old woman about biological factors on aging, specifically uh, programmed aging theories including replicative senescence and the telomere theory, basically putting it into words that someone can understand. So my client is a 47 year old woman with four kids. Her youngest just went to college a year ago, so she's felt that this is the first time that she can really take control of her health and wellness. Um, she finds herself disappointed because she feels like she hasn't really made any progress, she doesn't feel any different, and she doesn't understand why health and wellness choices at this age are really going to make an influence um, on her aging in general. First, I want to congratulate you on taking control of your own personal health and wellness. Now, you're right in that aging is greatly influenced by genetic predisposition and biological factors. That being said, it's important to understand the science of our biology so that we can then apply it to our own health and wellness decisions and how it's really going to affect our aging process. Humans have a fixed lifespan. We're not going to live much more than 120 years. Around 100 is the average. Now that means that our lifestyle choices, although they can help, can't make such a big difference that we live to be 180 years old like a sea turtle or that we die from natural aging at 12 weeks old like a butterfly. Um, every, every species has their own specific genetic code made for them so that they can best reproduce and continue on as a species. Once we're at the age um, of sexual maturity, we're able to reproduce and that age slowly passes, our bodies are no longer going to be functioning the same way they were before. Instead of developing um, to reach its peak, we're then going to be in maintenance mode. Now the idea of maintenance mode is your cells are dying off and new ones are being reproduced to replace them. Now this isn't a perfect cycle. As you get older, it gets less and less perfect. Now cell reproduction, if we start with one little cell, first he's gonna split into two. After he splits into two, that goes into four. And that will happen 50 times. Now after 50 times, scientists noticed that for some reason, um, the cell would stop reproducing. It couldn't reproduce any more than 50 times. What they learned was um, it had to do with the telomeres, which are in chromosomes. So if this is a chromosome, it looks like this. It has two sister chromatids, which is what each strand is called. The blue is the genetic material, which is our DNA, which is what says everything about who we are, why we are. Um, and this is what's passed down from our parents. This is what genetic predispositions lie in. Now, at the end of each one are telomeres, these little green guys. The telomeres are protein strands that are here to protect our genetic material. Now, every time the cell reproduces, these telomeres are going to get smaller and smaller. They slowly break away. And at the end, by 50 times of reproducing, now our genetic material is exposed. So when this genetic material is exposed, it can fuse with other chromosomes that are close by. That's going to create a mutation. And during the cell's reproduction cycle, it's going to signal that um, the cell stops the cycle and it will die off because it's no longer a functional cell. Um, now what scientists realized by doing some studies in the UK is that the length of these telomeres were basically the secret to aging and the aging process. They learned that there are social factors that contribute to the aging process and specifically to the length of telomeres. They found that um, between twins the twin that was in a lower socioeconomic status had shorter telomeres, which means they're going to age faster and not as effectively. They also found that BMI, smoking, and physical exercise were contributing factors as well. Now, the biggest one was physical exercise. So scientists found that regardless of um, BMI, smoking, job, lifestyle, physical exercise was the biggest variant in telomere length. So the more physically active an individual was, the longer their telomeres were, and the better their aging process was going to go for them. If you're going to take away anything from this, um, I hope that you understand exactly how the cell reproduction works and why it stops, how that contributes to aging, and specifically um, that your physical exercise and increasing the frequency, the intensity, um, is really going to make a difference in your aging down to the cell.